The city is spending a million bucks to take pictures of every street and traffic sign in Albuquerque. Sounds crazy, right? Well, the mayor's office is afraid it could lose a lot more than a million dollars in federal money if it doesn't follow Washington's orders on this. News 13's Jeff Todd is live downtown to explain it. Jeff? Yeah, Dick, here's the problem. The federal government wants to make it so that every street sign in every city is easier to see. Well, the problem that the city of Albuquerque is running into is that they don't even know how many signs they have or if they're the right kind like this one. It's inventory time for the city. Any sign that you see while you're driving. Street signs, traffic signs, even parking signs. A lot of them need to be changed down the road, and the city's starting by taking pictures of them all. Why are we spending all this money just to take pictures of them? Because we don't know how many signs we actually have in the city of Albuquerque. Uh, estimates for regulatory signs right now are more than 100,000. And a majority of them need to be replaced within the next seven years, with signs that have a special reflective material and capitalized first letters followed by lowercase. If not, then we are at risk of losing millions of dollars in federal highway funds to Albuquerque and New Mexico. But before the city can buy the signs at an expected cost of 10 to 15 million dollars, it's spending about a million figuring out which signs need to go. The city's using a van similar to what Google uses to capture its street view images. It's taking pictures and feeding them into a high-tech database at the same time. The city says this is a much cheaper option than sending somebody out the old-fashioned way. A gentleman with a computer, with a GPS monitor, and with a camera going out and taking pictures of between 100 and 200,000 signs in the city of Albuquerque. Preliminary estimates for that work were near 10 to 15 million dollars. And since the city has known this was coming for a couple of years, money from recent bonds and transportation taxes have been funneled into a special fund just for this project. Now, all the street signs like this one with the new reflective material will be in place by 2018. The federal government says with this reflective material, it makes the roads much safer for drivers because they're able to see these signs much easier. Dick, back to you. For millions of dollars, they better be. While these expensive changes are by order of the feds, guess what? Washington is not paying for it. Incidentally, new signs the city has put up in recent years are the acceptable kind. Just